If you like this channel, and you will, be sure to hit that button or that button. I don't know where the hell it is. It's going to be there. There's a little I. And donate if you like this video. If you like it, let me know. Show the love. And with that, I'm going to go into something very edgy, very controversial. And I may lose some of you and I may gain some more. See you in the video. All right. This is going to be somewhat of a rant. I must be doing something right. I remember the last time that I got all of these emails and messages. Because right now, everyone's like, oh, the language. Oh, the language. Oh, the language is so bad. Oh, the language. Yet, I see that they unsubscribe and come back. Apparently, the language isn't that fucking bad. That's part of it. That comes in cycles. I get that pretty regularly. I can almost count on it every quarter. Where there'll just be many self-proclaimed censors who feel the need that I should adopt their philosophy on life, even though they don't have one. But this is a new thing. This is a new thing. And if you are a loyal, long-time female viewer, thanks. Appreciate you. Love you. Hopefully you'll stay. But... I'm about to say something that's going to ruffle some feathers and piss some people off. This channel is not designed for women. This channel is designed for men. If you're a woman and you come here and get benefit, awesome. If not, then hey, because the channel is designed for men. And why is this channel designed for men? There are no social programs for men. You as a woman can be broke destitute, no job, and eh, that's kind of the reaction. Single, eh, okay, you know you're making your way. You can be a woman with two, three, four, five kids, not really hitting no much on government assistance, eh, not too much. But if you are a man that is not doing well financially, you are a buster, you're a lazy ass so-and-so, you ain't hitting no shit, and you're worthless. Tell me I'm wrong on that. There are no social programs for men. Not one. I had to create my own social program, which I termed the hustler's mindset. I had to create my own support system. Cheerle internal cheerleaders. Because when I fell on very hard times, due to some bad decisions, marrying the wrong person, uh, and staying too long. Just a lot of bad decisions. I have to be accountable for that. <clears throat> I fell on very hard times. The way that I was treated for not doing well was amazing. I'm going to tell you some stories in this video. It was amazing. It just blew my mind. Blew my mind. And first of all, when you're going through it and then that thing or a situation or scenario that you're going through is so big it really encompasses your life then you throw in this element uh unemployment for black men is roughly 50 percent right now if you are a man in the western hemisphere that is incapable of earning income you ain't shit by social standards fuck the economy fuck the reset doesn't matter doesn't matter because you're a man and you're supposed to make money. You're supposed to pull that cash out of your ass and do what it do, be a man. Whereas your woman can quit jobs, be flaky, not financially responsible. And yeah, you talk to her about it. I've actually left women for shit like that. And, uh, but next dude, his captain, save a hoe. Kate will flutter in the, bleed, in the breeze and he'll come scoop her up and help her out. Because there is no recriminations for being sorry in society if you're female. The fact that you have a penis and balls and no money by default makes you ain't shit. So when, you, when I look at it from that perspective and I look at literature and I 
somehow I don't know six seven years ago the pronoun he became she and knew, I was like I don't I, I didn't get the memo and I was like what the hell is this it's like we, there's this war on masculinity there's this war on being men and can I save everyone no but if I can pull a few forward I've done my fucking job this channel is for men the language is rough and raw I'm gonna tell you something that's like I said when I wrote my first book <clears throat> which was full of errors typos and you know it, 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 that's what happened men were able to look through that shit and get the information and make money women were emailing the shit out of me like oh this paragraph doesn't make sense to me I had a dude in Texas who did not graduate high school who got my first crappy ebook at 1995 PDF and that man now makes six fucking figures from the information he got that book. He said he read the book 50 times. Typos and all. He said it spoke to him. So that's one of the reasons that even when it was like, hey, you know, you should pull it back. I kept going because people benefited. There were dudes, there were lives impacted. People were actually improving themselves, making money, moving forward. So... I kept moving forward. I was like, wow, this is working for some people. Doesn't work for everyone. Doesn't work for everyone. But it works for a lot of men who are not feminine in thought. There are many men that come on this channel and I almost see the pink skirt and the panties by the comments. It's amazing. And I looked at it and I have almost six years of uh, data on this. And it's funny. The men and uh, who come on the channel who talk about the language, they go through their page. Nine out of 10 are trying to do what I'm doing, but they're very unsuccessful with it because they haven't stuck with it long enough. Notice I didn't say they weren't talented enough. I don't know if they're talented enough. I didn't stay around on their channel long enough. I just know that what I saw was they weren't heading in the right direction. So they would come over here, leave a comment, and hopefully get a little shine. And that's all you're gonna get a little shine. You're not gonna get the full moonlight when you're just a yard bird. So you get that. Then I've had email after email, you know, just call them digital letters of, hey, you know, I got this book and it changed this. I got this book and made to pay rent. I got this book from men and women. Once again, there are a lot of women who have more manly qualities than a lot of dudes today. You get a lot of those women that come to this channel. And when I say manly qualities, the ability to make a decision and stick with it. The ability to be logical. The ability to actually not become overly emotional about some bullshit. There's quite a few women who can pull that off. And there's a lot of dudes who are more emotional than women these days. I see it all the time. So there's a lot of people that come to this channel that get benefit because the testosterone is just Blur, it's brimmering over the top. It's just this. It's not oozing. This channel is squirting testosterone, masculinity. Yeah, you know we eat fucking meat and potatoes. We lift weights here. We go out into the world and we kill fucking dragons. That's what this channel's about. Going into the world and killing a fucking dragon. And also, due to where I used to be. And I understand how the world works. Doesn't mean I have to like it. Doesn't mean that I accept it. It means I understand it. And with understanding comes clarity. So that's what's going on with this channel. Um, you know, like I said, if you're female and you like the content, great, welcome, glad to have you. But the content is gonna become, excuse me, I think that was some meat more rugged, more raw, over the top, and edgy. And if profanity and certain things offend you, unsubscribe fucking now. It's gonna get worse. If you can't deal with it, just leave now. Uh, also, if you uh, sign up for the ebook, the audio book, and you know, you get emails from me, I'm just gonna say, if, uh, be straight up honest. I'm getting you on the email list so I can sell you something later. That's what a man would do. He'll tell you, hey, you know, uh, yeah, I'm taking you out because I want to fuck you later. I've actually told chicks that and it worked. 
I am that guy. It is not for everyone because many of you men have become seduced by lies to the point you don't want to fucking wake up and deal with the truth. You think that chick you've been dating for six months and you're hoping to get a little taste like Overton from uh, Living Single, she's been fucking the whole time, just not you. Understand, if you cannot deal with the truth of the world, you will not be able to deal with the truth of yourself. I've said many times on this channel, I was a fucked up individual. Made a lot of, lot of mistakes, a lot of mistakes. And I had to be accountable and something magical happened. When I became accountable, when I stood up on my hind legs and killed a dragon, my life got better. All right, this is Glendon Cameron with Hustler Consulting. This is how you get your Hustler Consulting requested video done. Go to the link in the video, make your purchase, and during the checkout process, enter your question here. Once you're done, just check out. Your video will be done within two, within 24 to 72 hours. And an added benefit, if your question makes more than $50 through the donation process, you will receive your feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the good side. You got better and better and better and better. And I was like, wow, it wasn't easy wasn't easy but I like the journey I like the results and this channel is going to be very very polarizing going forward there's concepts that will come up like this one there are no social programs for men if like I said I mean it, it's it's a shame because there should be a social program for men but if you are one of testicles and penis, you're supposed to just figure that shit out from your magical man properties and forget your humanity, forget your emotions, forget the fact that you're a, you have blood running through. No, 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 no. You're a man. You're some robot. You're some animal. Like, uh, like I said, I'm going to tell you some stories. If you didn't know, I'm black or brown, nice chocolate brown. And uh, there's this perception that... A black man will fuck anything. Now, I understand this perception and the stereotypes are rude and truth. I get approached by some things that I'm just like, damn, did you go bump in the dark? But because of the perception, they think they have a chance. It cracks me up. I'm going to tell you about a little email exchange I had with someone. Friend of a friend. We're going back and forth. Now, she weighs more than I do, and I am 6'1", 255. She's 5'3", I believe. She weighs more than I do. We're talking. You know, she's a friend. I'll be anyone's friend or an acquaintance. You know, people are people. And, you know, she's like, why would you never ask me out? And I'm going to have to tell you about Russell. There's a side of me I call Russell that's very, even more blunt than the dude you see on this channel. And I was in a mood that day. It was just like someone had slapped a duck and I was offended. And I said, you really want the truth? I gave her a chaser. And she said, yeah. I said, well, because you're fat as fuck. I am not going to date someone who outweighs me by a good 40 or 50 pounds. Are you fucking insane? Then it came. The insults. I was gay, I was this, I was that. And it just went on and on and on and on and on. And on. I mean, this went on for all, damn near two hours. And what's funny is every time she woke up in the morning and she looked in the mirror, the truth that I said very candidly, very stark, you know, it was very edgy. You know, it struck her. She knew this, but she was offended because I actually said it as if it was going to go away, and for some reason, I wasn't going to see the eight chins. Like, well, you know, there, no, there's not eight. There's only two now. And also, she's dumb. She's dumb. I do not date dumb women. Don't do it. Never have. Don't plan on it in the future. So this goes on, and I'm a social scientist, so I let it go and let it go, let it go, let it go. And at the end, she's like, 
you know, you should take me out to apologize. I was like, ain't this a bitch. I'm going to tell you another little story. When I was in the boarding house, I used to work for this place called Powertail. Um, I worked out in the boarding house. I did whatever I could. Push-ups, whatever, whatever. And I had a little, you know, little shoulder action, a little chest, everything. I was working in Powertail, and there was this banker, uh, Fidelity, across the square. She was coming in, pay her bill and everything. A little flirty flirt. We talk. Then, you know, she was flirting hard one day. Hard. So me, being the dude that I am, I thought I had a shot. So I went over there, actually went downstairs. Uh, there was a guy selling flowers, got a little flower, went to her job, took the flower in there, and I presented it to her and said, hey, let's go out. And then she's like, um, um, I think you misunderstood me. I was just flirting to get a discount. I mean, you work at Powertel. And she walked off. So what I did was what any normal human being with compassion would do. I uh, picked my face off the floor because there were people around when she did this. And uh, I went outside and I said, you know what? I'm miserable. I'm embarrassed. I'm humiliated. But I'm not going to own this. So I went and found someone who looked like they were having a bad day. There was this lady. She just had that look. And I went to her and I said, ma'am, you're having a bad day, aren't you? She said, how'd you know? It's just written all over your face. But you know what? From me to you, here's this flower. I hope it brightens up your day. She smiled, I smiled, and I went on with my life. The point is, you as a man must create your own social program. You know, you may have your boys, and that's a whole nother thing, because typically your boys are going to lead you to debauchery. Uh, you may have a good boys who will lead you correctly, but just going out and fucking 20 women is not going to heal the pain. You need a plan. You need to fix whatever is broken. So that happened. Then another time I was there. And this is this is cool. This is when I started to transition. I had left that situation and I was working at Renacrate. And there was this girl. And we dated. We dated. But uh, she told me, she said, you're just not ambitious enough for me was what it was. She was an attorney. I was working, you know, at Powertel. We kept in contact and I was at Rena Crate and my situation had changed drastically. And I had changed drastically. She she emailed me and she said these words and I'll never forget that email. The subject line was are you still working at Powertel? You ever get something and just all this just gets it anxiety and just uh, you know, it's like you know this is fucked up so this goes on I opened up the email and it was just like I was remembering the good times that we had and I was just wondering have you have uh, elevated your position in life she spoke that way my uh, best friend couldn't stand her name I'm not going to say it because it's so unique you could easily find her and could we get together and you know if, you know if your position had changed, could we get together? And I wrote it back and I was like, sorry to disappoint you. I am still at Powertail. Wish you the best, G. This is what you go through as a man with no money, with no position, with no power. Your friends will clown you. Your family will talk about you. They will say these things as if for some reason that you're not human. That you don't have a soul. That this stuff, it's just, well, well wait a minute, you're a man. You're not supposed to have emotions. You're not supposed to feel pain. You're just supposed to take it and get over it. And this is why men typically die sooner than women. Because they internalize all of that bullshit and stress. And it never releases except they die. And then it releases into the universe. And that's when it releases, when they're dead. So I learned to journal. I learned to write. And I worked that stuff out consistently. I didn't know it built up and create this residue of uh, hate and anger. So to you, women who come to this channel 
and you want to, I guess, clean me the fuck up, make me presentable, I understand. I love myself just the way that I am. It took me a lot of work to get here, and I'm not changing. Because the dude that I used to be, who was more sociable, didn't use profanity that much, was a fucking loser. Let me say it again. Just because you're nice doesn't mean your life will be nice. <coughs> and just because uh, you cuss doesn't mean your life is profane. And it's something that many people have not learned. So, um, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoy the videos. Hope you take some knowledge. But this fucking channel is designed and built for men. That's what it's for. Because there's no social program for men. There's no one that's going to say, hey, you know, I'm not going to get into the uh, Ray Rice thing because the emotional tension on that is so high. You can't even have a decent conversation about it. You can't. It is, it's just insane what's going on. I have a different take that I'll drop probably at some point in the future when this thing comes down and people are able to communicate. Because right now, everyone is emotionally pent up and going off. My Facebook has been alive this morning. And I mean, there's a larger thing in here, but you can't discuss that. Then you look at um, other issues that go on with men. You have men, and this this is another reason for men. Like, um, I know one of my friends thought I was crazy when I said this. And they're like, yeah, I would like to get married again and have kids. And he's like, you're, you're sick, you're free. And I was like, you don't understand. When you develop a life of abundance and you live in abundance, you don't do things that are dictated by lack. When you get hurt, your life's been bad, and you're like, I'm not going to do that anymore. You're letting pain and lack dictate your future, which is weak, which is, is, a, is a little bitch-ass move. If someone hurts you 10 years ago and that hurt is making you not go forward with your life today, you are a weak coward. You're a scary little bitch. And you are was what, Arthur Miller, the death of a salesman? You die a thousand times before lunch. Each day you want to do something, but you're a scared little bitch. You want to love that girl, or you want to love that man, or you want to have those kids, or you want to move to a foreign country. But because of something that happened to you when you were five, I can't do it. Because my daddy didn't love me. My mama didn't love me. No one loved me. Love your fucking self. Get over yourself and move forward. And that's why I'm here. You know, I have these conversations because one of the things that I get from a lot of men is thanks for saying these things. Thanks for putting this out there. I get comments and letters from women, uh, mostly criticisms, and uh, I'm like, I'm a Home Depot fucking project. It's like, yeah, you know, the, the bones are good. The structure's good. Now, if we can just make that edifice all nice. <laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. But that's what's going on. That's what's happening. And that's the G-verse. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the good side. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron. I'm just letting you know I am doing something new. Hustler University YouTube channel is now a viewer supported deal. Essentially, 9 out of 10 people benefit from the information of this channel. That's a wonderful thing. Support this channel like a boss. Great advice for you to grow to build. Donate today. You can donate a dollar, five bucks, up to $500. Just hit that little eye or tap that to donate and you'll be golden. Once again, this is something new that I'm doing. I'm going to work up, see how it works out from now to the end of the year. And if it goes well, I'll continue to do so. All right. This is Glendon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the good side.